Hello, my name is Carol A. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got a very special episode because it's spooky. Yeah. And by spooky, I mean technically as much as I can handle. We've got the costume on, which is, um, I really don't know. I was going for Bambi, and the more that I look at it, maybe I look like a mouse, and then it just kept continuing on, and now I have no idea what's happening. But we've got my spooky shirt, Venom, happening, so it matches. Got the little cat ear headphones. We are in spooky mode. And yes, this video is early, but that is because, number one, I literally barely decorated my island two days ago. Number two, I don't really do spooky season like that. Now, I will also say warning that my island right now is in daylight. It should have been done at dark, but I'm an adult and I got a job, so you can do it when you can. Now, a little premise. My villager is dressed up. And when I tell you, my mom told me I could be anything. So I shot for the stars and became a dang star. <laughs> like, is my Halloween costume ridiculous? Yes. But my Animal Crossing villager, she got the assignment and she knew exactly what to do. I mean, look at this. If you want to recreate it, I've got the star pouch. <laughs> Here's a little close up. I've also got the chick costume um, because I didn't prepare at all. I got just like the regular white socks on, the little leather canvas shoes, yellow and yellow, the sunglasses, of course, and of course, the star hood or the star helmet. So we're gonna kick off today's little spooky episode with the tour of my island. I did the bare minimum. I don't like Halloween like that. I'm a scaredy cat. So I just added some spooky elements here and there, like in the entrance, of course, is where we're gonna begin. And then as you go this way onto the island, you can see I added, oh, what is that? A red pile of leaves. Doesn't that scream spooky? We've also got, I don't even remember what this is called, but I think it's cute. I feel like all of the Animal Crossing Halloween stuff is actually kind of cute. It's not very like scary. Here's the cauldron out of Abel Sisters. And then this little like, you know, trick or treat Halloween thing. This pumpkin right here is one of my favorite things on earth. You can't see it, but it's okay. We'll check it out on this other side. Then for the nooks, I got the little hay bale with the pumpkin. They already added their own pumpkins. I didn't have to do much there. I got this little stool right here, right? Cute. My farm is where it really shines. Here's another leaf pile. Put you in the spoopy season. More pumpkins with the hay bales. I didn't, I just put a scarecrow up there. If we can maybe see. There we go. I think it's great. This little pumpkin over here. I also switched these up to mushrooms. I feel like the woods would have been a perfect place to put a whole bunch of spooky stuff. But honestly, tearing it down and then putting it back up. Nah, you got me messed up. But on the villager side, I did do a lot. You would think I didn't because I haven't even decorated for normal season. <laughs> But I think Boots House is the cutest right now. Little pile of leaves, the Tower of Pumpkins. I love this little smiling set right here. And then if you go over here, it's the same thing with the hay bale and the pumpkins. Tower of Pumpkins. And then, no, you're joking. Diana, you are not leaving, you are not leaving this town. I just made the effort to make this a festive home. And you're over here trying to decide that you're gonna move? I don't know if I should talk to her, or should we, wait, let's just continue on and then we'll come back to that. Here's a cute little pumpkin jack-o-lantern up here. That spooky tree. Here's a trick-or-treat pumpkin I was talking about. So when it's closed, it looks like that. But then when you open it, ooh, lights. And then a scarecrow. I did not do anything to my Zen garden, but if you come over here, You've got the big carriage, right? Some more trick-or-treats. Another pumpkin with the hay bales. And then I got Tutu's home ready for Thanksgiving because I'm totally gonna make it look like fall, I've decided. 
lol not me having an island that isn't even finished and thinking about decorating for fall irresponsible that's exactly what that is i love this too i wish like you could interact with it <gasps> i'm sorry i didn't know you could turn them on and off there's that i didn't really put anything else honestly up here it's it's pretty much um the same so we're just gonna leave because that's disappointing like i said i'm not really a halloween gal and i've seen people do really cool stuff with their islands but it's honestly kind of freaks me out like some girl like like a trail of blood to each their own to each their own personally just a little touch here and there it makes me feel like i'm part of the trend and it's cute and it's fun and the flower garden actually ended up turning out really cute too with some of the pumpkins the little lantern this mushroom thing and this pond stone i love the mushroom thing it's cute and no i thought about doing my house but the reason that i didn't is because i have Libby. there's just nothing here there's a lot of stuff i still have to build on and i'm gonna be working on it and now that i've gotten a sense of just like difference you know, in Animal Crossing, here's another little. You can turn them all on and off. Look at that. You know, we're gonna turn that one off and we're gonna leave it off. But anyways, now that I've got a sense of like doing something different, at least forcing myself to do something different actually, I have decided that I've got some more stamina to pump out Animal Crossing stuff. Cause I'm thinking, that once we finish this island, which I doubt it'll ever be really, really finished, we can check out my old island. But there you go. I didn't do much else for spooky season, because like I said, I'm a baby. When it comes to Halloween, I think that everything is scary and I don't want to die. Like, one of the cool things that people do is like hay rides and haunted houses, and honestly, my brain would not know how to differentiate from those things. So I didn't want to do that to my villagers, especially since they're all cute. Should we see what Diana wants? If she is moving, we're gonna force her to stay. I don't care. Frankly, I don't care. I worked too dang hard to make this house a home and she's just gonna try to leave? No, absolutely not. Maybe we won't even find her because she knows that I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Diana? Diana, you didn't mean it like that. Like, all right, well then, I believe Diana is just gonna get ignored. I wanted to help her out, maybe she lost something, but she didn't even give us the opportunity. I love her outfit. That's the spooky tour. Like I said, there wasn't a lot, okay? There really wasn't, it's, it's mid. And the reason is, cause I'm not really a Halloween gal. Christmas time though, I already started collecting some Christmas stuff. You don't even know. This town is going to look crazy for Christmas. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you liked the video. In the comments today, let me know what you think I dressed up as today because I don't even know. And number two is what did you think of my villager's Halloween costume? If you thought anything other than five out of five stars, your opinion is wrong and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> And of course, if you want more content from me, make sure you subscribe and I will hopefully catch you later.